I've, uh, uh, I've never given away an animal in my life. I'm 68 years old, so this is kind of hard for me to, to part with her, but I know it has to be done. Um, find her a new home is Thank you. because um, you know my, my mom died two years ago. My father he's 94 and I was wow. taking care of him for a year and a month here and with caregivers and he um, wouldn't cooperate the bottom line. Oh. He didn't cooperate. So in order to pay his um, uh, his facility where he is is eight thousand dollars a month. Your dad. Yeah. So five thousand or so of it pays for from his re retirement money and all that. But we're going to have to rent out the house to pay for the rest of it each month. So I'm going to move to a place where I can't have a cockatoo. That's so sad. Yeah. So. Um, but you can have your cat. But I can have my cat. Yeah. So it's. It's like um, a necessity. I've uh, uh, I've never given away an animal in my life. I'm 68 years old, so this is kind of hard for me to, to part with her, but I know it has to be done. Um, my mother and father lived here since 1974. Oh, wow. And in 1978, they got a double yellow-headed uh, Amazon parrot, and that bird lived for like 35 years. Wow. And then in the year 2001, I believe it is, um, someone Norm knows had a bird that was on a farm that they were gonna build houses on the farm instead. So uh, that bird needed a home. And that is Clara. Okay. And she's a, uh, a uh, white cockatoo. And unfortunately, she had lived with some people for, it was at least 10 years and they were getting older and as a person gets older, it's harder to take care of them. They had her kind of in a room by herself, mm -hmm. and she had plucked all the feathers off of her front, okay, and her, and her legs. Mm -hmm. So we, we got her, and um, she went to live at a farm for two years, and that girl is moving to a condo. So then we got her, and we've had her since 2001. Oh, wow. So we figure the age is that she's at least um, 20 plus 10 plus 2. So she's at least 31 or 32 oh, years wow. old. Okay. I told you only 10 years we had had her. Yeah, that was, was but almost 20. Um, okay. And she's a very, um, she's a people bird. She likes people. I think that she was hand raised okay. because she makes a big thing over getting food. In other words, she'll eat her seed yeah. and she'll drink her water, which is very private activity for her. Yeah. <laughs> And if I want her to eat vegetables or other things other than seed, I have to hold them out for her, oh, wow. you know, and say, here, Clara. And she goes, mm, and she says, that, that, that. you know, it's like a, it's like a, uh, an ordeal, like Thanksgiving or something, you know? <laughs> so that's why I think she was hand fed when she was raised. Yeah. Um, she'll eat um, kale, okay. she'll eat spinach, oh, nice. um, banana, she doesn't like to hold the wet things in her a claw, I think, because she'll hold a banana by the stem. You know how you cut it mm. off and you hold the stem? Mm -hmm. But she won't hold wet stuff. Okay. So you kind of have to, like, oatmeal on a spoon, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, she does not, she's not a, good talk, not a good talker. Okay. But if you listen carefully, you can understand what she's trying to say. She has, like, a little, like, a lisp, it sounds like. Okay. For example, my mother uh, used to go into the back room and say, Bob, to my father, 
So I've realized that Clara, when I come into the room now, she says, Bob. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I sound like my mother. Yeah. yeah. So if you listen carefully, you can figure it out. But, um, and she likes to be sang too. I sing her, I left my heart in San Francisco. And Aww. she's um, a people bird, but she does occasionally bite. Okay. But it's always been something that I, when I look back on it, it's always been something that, that I did in error. Mm. Okay, like um, I was too sudden. Yeah. You know, I, I too sudden, or we were we were outside and the sun wasn't shining at me. The mm. sun was coming from behind and she couldn't see me well, mm. and I was too abrupt. I have a little bit of attention deficit disorder, so it's best if you're calm. Mm. The one time when she did, only one time, she's bitten me hard, and she's only bitten me six times in 20 years. Oh, wow. So that's, that's not bad. too bad. Yeah. Um, the one time she did bite me when it was not very good is I have her on like a little, a stick. Uh -huh. She has her own stick that I take her around on. Okay. And I was going like this to let her flap her wings. Oh. I let her flap her wings for exercise. Yeah. And she lost her balance. Oh. So she grabbed my hand. Yeah. So every time that it's happened, it's always been something that it was, it was like the human error. Yeah. Yeah. So she's not me. You know? um, let's see what else can I say about her. I, uh, she, she's a good girl. She is a girl or boy. Well, I'll wait till this that I pass it. She's a. Um, we got her. Her name was Clara. Okay. So we had her DNA I, done, identified in the vet, and it turns out she's a girl. I mean, she's a uh, she's um, a boy. Yeah. But we didn't change the name okay. because I I say Clara. Yeah. You know. And she also says a word that sounds like. Puerta? And I think she's uh, trying to say H-U-E-R-T-A. It's a Spanish word for like little white girl or something oh, like that. Because well, okay. the guys on the farm would talk to her. Um, but she's a, a people bird and she's a, a good pet. Mm -hmm. But she does um, scream sometimes. How long does she scream? If, if there's other people talking loudly, yeah. Along with her, she'll go along with them. Oh, okay. And yeah. then if people quiet down, then she'll... Yeah. If, people, oh, that's a if, if yeah. you have two people talking loudly or talking from room to room, which my mother and my father and I did, my father and I both talked loud, then she would start screaming. Oh, so again, that was like attention. a people... Yeah. That's kind of like a, a people thing that okay. we're kind of causing her to do. Yeah. Um, another time we were watching the Black Hawk Down on TV. It's a, They had machine guns. <laughs> After a while, she started doing that machine gun noise uh, over and over. Yeah, she okay. did in the TV room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then she quit. So um, the screaming to me has not been a real bad thing okay. because I know how to um, get it to stop. And you're used to it. And I'm used to it. And I'll, like if I'm watching TV and she's over here and something gets her and she screams a little bit, I'll go over and talk to her. We'll yeah. have a little bit of interaction. And, Da, 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 and then it's usually okay. So cool. neither neither the screaming nor the biting is a issue. A real bad issue. I don't consider it an issue. Okay. Wow, wow. he's gorgeous. The person is in the yard first. See what I what I usually do since she doesn't fly, I'll go like this so she'll flap her wings and get some exercise, some cardiopulmonary. Yeah. And that's the time when she the worst time she bit me, she lost her balance because her nails were clipped. Yeah. Yeah, so it was my participation. Wow. Clara, look here. I'm Love sorry. is very interested. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Caroline. Caroline, I'm so sorry. No, I'm Ellen. Ellen, hi. Um, hi, Clara. She, when, when Tommy was around, Tommy loved her. Tommy always wanted to preen her and everything. Clara was a little bit indifferent. She cooperated. Yeah. Tommy's your dad? Tommy yeah, the, was the bird. other bird. We had 35 oh, years. Oh, the double yellow had it. Uh -huh. So it, it, they were friendly with each other, but Tommy loved her and she kind of like, okay, you're okay, mm. you know. Hi, Clara. What, what other birds do you what have? Do you you had a, 
I have a double yellow hat. Okay. Do you? His name is Destiny. I thought also it was a girl. Mm -hmm. I got him as a baby, hand fed him. Uh, he's now a macho. <laughs> Four years old, he talks. I'm hungry. I want ice cream. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Very smart bird. How many birds do you have? Six. Six? Is that difficult to um, take care of them all? <laughs> no, because they're all trained mm -hmm. and they listen to me. So you combine a lot of the feeding and yeah things. yeah. But she has a he he or she I don't know a uh, lot of dander huh? Yes, she does. That's another thing I should tell you. There's a lot of dander, and I think that this comes with the cockatoos. Yeah. Other birds like I don't think African greys have that. Yeah. Pro uh, hope. This is love. Love doesn't have it. But no. there is a lot of dander. Yeah, that, it's an Australian bird. Yeah. That That is a downside to me. A lot of dander. Is it an Australian bird? Yeah, cockatoos are Australian bird. These are the new world Wait. bird. They are the old world okay. bird. Okay, good girl. The old world bird is from Australia. The new world okay. Uh, okay. uh those birds who don't shed dander. See, they just shed feathers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, Claire? Yeah. So she's a, she's a, a friendly girl. Um, she's a boy. Yeah, friendly boy. <laughs> friendly boy. Um, but this, this is new, so it's like, oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Most birds she sees, like, I, I'll put her outside here. I'm going to put her over. I'm going to bring her over here. Wait, put her. Okay. I've run this through my head for a few days. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, would Have you like to come out? This is Caroline. Hi. And this is love. Oh, yeah, you can come a little out. puppy. Yeah. Hi. Actually, he's going to be 13 on the 20th really? of this month. Yeah. Hi, little puppy. No, I'm sorry. I have this poop. I would clean this off beforehand. Oh, okay. But, oh, this um, is a nice size cage. Yeah, I was told that you should have with a a wingspan. There's a certain rule of thumb. Yeah. Where where the wingspan thing, so they don't, you know, get stuck. Yeah. And she, for some reason, I have this and this in here, but she always wants to sit on this wide. Perch. Of course, because it's higher. Birds always yeah. want to go high. Yeah. They want to be at the highest spot. Mm -hmm. Preferably, they will sit on top of cages. Oh, I, I have let her out on top. I don't do it all the time just because I don't know that it's good for her claws because mm -hmm. it doesn't give enough. That's why I put her outside on the perch. On the perch, there. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, she like low perch. They don't really like low perches just for the food. But um, um, like I have like the highest perch, and they always sit on the highest, highest. the highest yeah. one. Even though you would yeah, think there's not enough room good. here, there's enough room. But for for all these years, she she knows her parameters and it hasn't been a problem. So another reason I want to keep her in the big cage is because she climbs around yeah and she gets lots of exercise that yeah way from climbing all over yeah yeah, yeah. definitely okay good to know and you I, can I feed her i'm a little bit ashamed that i don't feed her a little better diet but i feed her the um sunburst okay thing it, it does have sunflower seeds and some peanuts in it but not too many Okay. In my mind, I try not to give a lot of sunflower and peanuts because I know peanuts are are not good. good for her. But I might give her one once a day mm -hmm. because what it does is I put the peanut in there and it entices her to eat the rest of the food and then it's like yeah. a, a yeah. thing. Yeah. And I safflower, I give her like a couple handfuls of safflower okay. and then a couple handfuls of this and then one peanut. And then I always put food in here but for the most part, she doesn't eat it because I'm not holding it for her oh. and giving it to her. Oh, she wants to be served. She wants to be served. And yeah. I don't know where that comes from, except that somebody did that for her when she was very young. And that's in her head where that's a, that's, that's a thing, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I get kale at Trader Joe's. Oh, she likes that. that and I hold it for her. And, Ooh, she'll eat it. She'll eat a leaf of spinach. I have some nuts in the... Uh, does she like almonds? I have some almonds in the car. She'll eat it sometimes. In shells. In shells. I put them in there in shells. Yep. But I don't... She doesn't oh, yeah. usually eat... She doesn't. Not usually. That's only yeah, been she's, in there for a little while. She's good. 
She has to work for it. She has to work for it. Yeah, <laughs> she wants it, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey. And that page can fit through your door. Oh, well, wait, let me see. I don't know how we. Um, how did we get it in there? Well, it's, it comes in pieces. It, we might have put it together. Yeah, oh, you have to put it together. But okay. it, even if we clean it up and take it apart, it's just a couple of screws right here. It goes really fast. It's just four walls, the bottom and the dome, which yeah. will fit easily in my car. Um, because well, if you don't, if you don't want to take it apart or put it in your car, I can bring it over there for you. Okay. Car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But it might, it's, it's pretty wide. Right? Yeah, it's pretty wide. I don't think it will fit through my door, but if you bring it over, I can take it apart and clean it off and make it really like. Yeah, and then you can put it back together. When and then put it back together. She wants to come in. Clean it off, meaning clean the poop. Yeah, but if you want to do it, that's fine okay. too. I'll try. It's, it's uh, I'll do as best I can, but uh, it's kind of. Uh, how would how would you transport? Like, oh. In a, in a smaller cage. Or? Oh yeah, a smaller cage. Yeah. It comes. Do you transfer? In what kind of cage do you use? I'm just curious because I. Um, I have a smaller cage. A smaller cage. A smaller cage, like a hand cage. Okay. That. Is it one of those plexiglass? Oh no, it's a real cage. Oh. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> he got my whistle.